What is going on gang? Good morning and welcome back. So today I am checking out, of course, some more of these juicy little swamp spots on the side of the road. And this one looks nice, y'all. We are surrounded by farm fields today. Uh, so I'm hoping we can find some maybe some old like farming equipment, some old tools, you know, this typical things we seem to find in these kinds of areas. That's right, I forgot about these. All right, let's do a little giveaway. We have not done a giveaway in forever. So if you're interested in winning a, uh, a Battle Magnet sticker, go down to the comments and say, uh, crap, I don't know, say give me that sticker. Um, three of these will go to the to three random people and one of these will go to the, someone that can make me laugh. I don't know, leave, leave a joke, leave a funny comment. If I pin your comment, you win, you win a sticker. Very important, secure your magnet. Whenever you go magnet fishing, it don't matter how good of a grip you think you got in your hand, I promise it's not as good as it, it's not as good as you think it is. All right, folks. I don't think I want to throw it too far. We're gonna we're gonna work our way out. We're gonna start about 10 feet out, 15, 20, 25, 30. Go, we're gonna go that way. We're not gonna start all the way at the end. I'm always nervous that we're gonna throw over a log or something like that. Oh, dude. Very first throw, I landed right on something. Holy crap. <laughs> well, that was a little, uh, a little scary. Well, anyways, very first throw, we got trees falling in the forest and then it looks like we got like a, whoops. Yo. I was gonna say this is like a bridge piece, but look at the little gears in there. Oh man, it looks like there's even lights on there too. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so heavy. Ugh. Oh my goodness, it is so heavy for its size. So we got like a light bulb, we got some sort of like copper stuff in here. I'm not really sure what the heck this thing is. But yeah, there we go gang, our first slightly heavy find of the day. Let's set this right here and I need to go grab my bucket out the car before I get too far. Oh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. It wants to fall so bad. Oh, boy. Bro, this is so weird. It's like it's metal, but it's like a flimsy, like, papery kind of metal. What is this even to? Oh, it's got, like, gills in it. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even know, y'all. I have not a clue. like an old pipe. Uh, you know, you know we'll, we'll start spicing it up a little bit. This is the first piece of murder metal of the day, gang. And it is nice. We're getting some nice weight in the bucket. We're probably already up to about 20 pounds. That's like, what, 10 cents at the scrapyard? Oh, boy. Here we go. I think we got it. Yes. You ain't getting away from me that easily, son. Bro, what the heck is this thing? I don't know, gang. Let me know down in the comments what you think this is, because I'm just not even really sure. Like, maybe we're pulling... Like, we we got to be pulling something much larger apart based off these pieces looking, cre looking incredibly similar. But I just, I just can't put anything together, unfortunately. Ooh, what is this? Oh! <laughs> well, you have seen better days, son. You ain't playing Tetris or watching YouTube on this no more. I'm not even sure what brand this sucker is. Nice, dude. This is a first. This is an absolute first for me. Usually these things aren't even all that magnetic. 
Well, this one certainly is. <laughs> yes, dude. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm not even gonna play. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Coming up like this, I'm not even gonna play, y'all. I, I thought we found a magnet. I thought we found another 360 degree magnet, and obviously we didn't, but... Is this some kind of trap? Dude, I... I the, the crazy thing is, the part that's bothering me, I know I've 100% seen something like this before. I just can't really put it together. Oh my gosh, y'all! This green stuff is awful. Like it's, like it's it's a little bit yucky. It's that's you know it, it getting all over everything. Really isn't like the worst in the world. It is what it is. But every time I pull up the magnet, there's like a really rotten egg methane kind of smell. I uh, I don't really I don't know if that's like that just happen to be what the bottom of the water smells like. I don't know if it's the the green stuff growing on top making it smell like that. But it <laughs> smells awful. I feel like I need a face mask. Huh. Well, it's a handle to something. <laughs> it don't look like a drawer handle. It looks like you... I don't know, dude. Oh, yes, dude. Yes, dude. Yes, dude. All right. We, we got to put this somewhere good so we don't spill our luck. Bear with me. Um, 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 um. There we go. That's that's pretty good. I'll accept that. That's that's good. We got a really big one coming in, y'all. I'm worried it's a tree, though. But, you know, good and bad, we're at least going to get that tree out of the way if it is, in fact, a tree. Yep, it's a tree. Shake off, baby. Good lordy, y'all. I feel like this is a giant bearing. Like, what could this go to? Like, like some kind of semi truck or something like that? It is freaking huge. It's like at least a couple pounds for just a little bearing. That is crazy. So we're finding more and more and more of this. Like, do y'all have any guesses what this is? Cause truly I'm, I'm stumped. Like I kind of get the vibe. Like it could be like a panel to a car, like the side of a car. But uh, I, I just don't know. Like I, I really, I just don't know. So I'm, <laughs> I'm just speculating. I'm trying to figure out how to get this sucker up. I don't know if you can see it standing out of the water right now, but I pulled that out of a crap ton of mud and that from out from under a bunch of trees. Um, unfortunately, my magnet just kind of wants to slide off of it, so I'm trying to shimmy over to the side without losing it. Yes, we got them. We got them. Hang on, y'all. I'm going down there to get it. Wait. <laughs> All right. Uh... That's cool. That's uh, that's definitely not sketchy at all. We'll just... Nice, dude. Nice. It has been a long... Oh, is it a squirter? Oh, get over here, son. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Uh, uh, I would be willing to bet a lot, a lot, a lot of money that someone has 100% been magnet fishing here before. 100%. 100%. 100%. 
I thought I found some scraps on the bridge over there. I, I wasn't quite sure, you know, it, it, stuff could flood out of the water. But there's a pile like this on the other side as well, mixed up with the scraps on the bridge. And I can guarantee you, I would be, like I said, I'd be willing to bet a lot of money someone else has been bagging fishing here before. And the only reason I say that, the, the reason I bring that up is because I would be willing to bet a lot of money again that they weren't using one of these beast 3,500 pound magnets. Like if they, if they would have been using that, I don't think there would be anything left in here. Um, so that's why I recommend these big magnets sometimes y'all like, you know, if you've ever gone out to a spot a bunch of times and you feel like you're not finding anything else, but you're still getting clicks, definitely upgrade your magnet. But I use one of these smaller magnets for a very long time. I use like the thousand pound magnets, the, the 1500 pound magnets, the, you know, just the single sided magnets. And you know, they were very good. They, they were awesome for, for when these weren't really popular. But now that these exist, I could not imagine going back. It is, if you're, if you're serious about your magnet fishing hobby, like you, I, I hate to sound like a salesman, especially for the company that I'm affiliated with, but you know, if you're really into this stuff, go over to Battle Magnets and look into that $240 box. You get a nice pair of gloves. You get some really thick rope. You get a beast magnet, an absolutely beast magnet. Um, the same deal, if you were to buy all this individually, let's say Brute Magnetics, for example, their magnets alone, last time I looked, started at $280. Wow, another big one. Ooh, shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, Cocoa Puff. Come on, baby, shimmy. This is a big one, y'all, and this water's so, like, there's so many logs down there. I'm worried if I try to pull it up and I drop it, it's gonna fall in between a bunch of logs, and then that's gonna be the end of that. Oh. Oh yeah, bro. Is it a garbage disposal? No. Oh my gosh, Daniel. Um, imagine if this was your garbage disposal. I feel like you could stuff like a whole chicken or like your whole tennis shoe down in there and it'd eat it up. <laughs> no, I think it's uh, some kind of water pump. Anyways, nice, dude. All right, my gang. Here we are at the second spot of the day. Um, and now that I'm here, I'm 100% I'm positive that I have absolutely been here before. Um, it's actually been, gosh, man, that is, that was, it's been like four years since I've been here. That is crazy. This was one of the very first spots me and Bryce came to um, once we stopped like magnet fishing at like boat docks and stuff like that. There's a there's a period in time, if you guys go back to like my early videos, we didn't really have the whole magnet fishing thing figured out yet. It was still very like entry level to us. Uh, so we didn't really know what we were doing. You know, we'd go to like boat docks and mainly just boat docks. All right, first split. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. First find at the second spot. It's got some kind of like words on it. Take the display copy. Oh, like like real estate, right? Like you, you, they have those things on the house and you can take one of the copies or something like that, right? <laughs> Got something coming up. <sighs> it almost looks like some Christmas lights. <laughs> All right, so this definitely came off something substantially larger. Um, I threw my magnet right back in the same spot. I was tugging on it pretty good, and this, this broke off of whatever we were tugging on. So, uh, yeah, let's see if we can get the rest of that. I'd love to figure out what that is. <laughs> I don't know if this is part... Oh, bro, is that a lockbox? Oh, I don't think so. Never mind. That, I, I, I thought that was like a lock to a lock box. I definitely don't think it is. But it's, same, it's the exact same thing. I was tugging on something much larger. Oh, shoot. I was tugging on something much larger. 
And uh, that's all that wanted to come off. So let's throw it right back in the same spot. I'm definitely gonna be throwing, I'm definitely gonna be throwing the claw here in a minute. Dude, gotta be. Maybe the inside to an old TV or something like that. I, I really don't know. But I, I, I feel something like that. Maybe even like a really old computer or something. I, I just don't know. Uh, kind of looks like the bottom to like an old pot or something like that. I, I know it isn't. I'm just saying what it kind of looks like. Yes, baby, let's go. Dude, look at this one. Holy crap, dude, it's not even like sawed down. Look at the shape of that barrel. Bro, what kind of gun was this? Oh my gosh, the hammer comes back just a little bit. Oh, yo. Yes, dude. Oh. And it's definitely like a break open. You could, br I don't know. If, I mean, look how small the hole is on that. I don't think it's a shotgun. Oh, yes, son. Yes, son. Yes, son. Oh, my goodness, dude. Let's set you right there with the claw. I don't want to forget either of you, but we ain't done throwing just yet. Oh, my goodness. Well, it ain't a gun. I'm not really sure what the heck that thing is, but we'll, we'll set that over there by the gun. I, dude, I cannot believe we found that, bro. I cannot believe it. Oh, another one. What in the heck are these things? Definitely some kind of bracket to something. <laughs> 